Hello, hello, you beautiful soul, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Katie Dudley, and I am the blogger behind the Pilates Blonde. Also here on YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram at the Pilates Blonde as well. I am so excited that you're here, and since we're new friends, I thought I would share with you my story, my track to health and wellness, and my why behind everything that I do and everything that I share. So my story starts back when I was 12 years old. I was at a black belt training class, a karate, and I dramatically collapsed to the floor and was like crying that my joints were hurting me and that my fingers and my knees and my hips, whatever. So my master called my dad and was like, yo, your girl's having a meltdown, can you come and get her? So Pat Dudley scooped me up, cried the whole way home, cried when I got home. My parents were like, um, I think you're being a little bit dramatic, here's some Advil, I think you might be hormonal, why don't you go to bed, girlfriend? So I went to bed, I woke up the next morning, I should mention I was definitely a dramatic child fast forward into the strike. I woke up the next morning and like could barely move. I think I called my mom up to my room. I was like, mom, look at my hands. She took one look at them and she was like, those look like your grandmother's hands. You look like you have arthritis. So she called the pediatrician. They said, bring her in. It was like a Sunday or something crazy like that or a Saturday morning. So I went in and the doctor was like, um, so this is 100% arthritis never diagnosed a kid with arthritis. So you're going to have to go see somebody who like knows what they're talking about. So I think April 12, 11th or 12th, 26 or 2006, 2006, I had my first appointment at CHOP in Philadelphia and I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis in like every joint except for one toe. Three days later, I started methotrexate. I started, which is a low dose chemotherapy. It was, I did injectables first and then switched over to oral. Those didn't work for me, so we added on Enbrel. Became, developed antibodies to that, added in Areva, which I never should have been put on because a whole host of issues. Then we added on Remicade. Remicade worked great at first, and then it didn't. <laughs> so we kept shortening the length of time. So instead of going once a month, I was going every three weeks and that wasn't working. So we increased the concentration and then crazy things started happening. Like me gaining 20 pounds during, during an infusion, me having seizure like symptoms in the parking lot after, like, I don't remember any of it. My poor parents went through all of this and I don't remember any of it or much of it. And so I was like a vegetable. Essentially, I had to drop out of college for the time being. I withdrew. I quit my job, I was blind in my left eye. I one time went to pick up my little brother at his friend's house and I didn't remember how to turn on the car. And I was like, don't tell mom and dad, whatever you do, do not tell them that I don't know how to drive. Of course he was a good brother and he told on me. So wasn't allowed to drive anywhere, couldn't really do anything. I was having functional MRIs and IQ testing and everything was just crazy. And they diagnosed me with MS and then they were like, mm, nope, you don't actually have the gene for that. So whoops, I had spinal taps and my spinal fluid was like off the charts, like pressure wise, like just crazy things. So when they then told me that my parents to start looking at group homes, my parents were like, she's 19, we're not gonna do that. So my parents called the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. And a few weeks later, I flew out there uh, with my mom and I saw neurologists and I had x-rays and MRIs and saw rheumatologists and all of these ologists. And they were like, girl, you're just allergic to your meds. Like, you're good. So when I realized that there was no earth shattering brain tumor that they couldn't find, that there wasn't any thing that was really holding me back, I was just essentially poisoned and I just had to get the poison out of my body. I was like, dang, this is amazing. I was still in a fog. I still couldn't drive. I still couldn't go to college. Uh, so I was like, okay, what can I do? I can watch documentaries on my bed. Like I can watch Netflix documentaries. I can buy documentaries on Amazon because my parents didn't care. I was trying to get healthy. So for a year I was a stay at home daughter and all I was supposed to do was get healthy. That was it. It was watch documentaries, read articles. It was when I was healthy enough, go to Pilates. It was go to Wegmans every day and get the freshest vegetables I could find. It was learn how to eat without taking medicine. 
And I did, and this was five years ago. And I can honestly say there's only been one time that I've needed to be treated for something in this process, by the way, I was diagnosed with lupus on top of the RA. Um, so I do have rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. I had one lupus flare. I had a lupus headache a few years ago. I had to get IV steroids and I'm allergic to steroids. So it was IV Benadryl and IV steroids like two years ago. Knock on one. Nothing has happened ever since. So I use few, these videos are so going to be unedited. I don't care. So I use food as my fuel and my medicine. So I don't take anything besides like supplements and vitamins and things like that. Things that I have tested in my body and work really well for me. I love them so very much and I'll do a whole video on my supplements. But that is the reason why I'm so passionate about everything that I do. Because at one point I wasn't healthy enough to squat my body weight. I wasn't healthy enough to deadlift 185 for reps. I wasn't healthy enough to leg press 315 for reps. These are things that I wasn't able to do because I was literally just like lying right there for years, years of my life, seven years of my life wasted in bed. And now the world is my freaking oyster. So I take advantage of it, which is exactly what I want you guys to do. Find your why and then tackle the world. It's amazing the freedom that comes with realizing you can do whatever you want, especially when you are so held back. So ever since then, I have just been gung-ho. I got my Pilates certification. I started teaching Pilates to gift to people the same way that I feel in my body every single day. Pilates is the reason why I can get out of bed. It is the reason why I created this blog this is the reason why I created this brand to share this message that using food and exercise as your medicine is so much better than taking a pill. Half of the medications that I took when I was sick were to counteract other medications that I was on, right? When I was taking methotrexate, I had to take folic acid and I had to take all these other things and I had to wear a face mask at school sometimes. And sometimes the nurse would call my mom and be like, too many people have the flu. Katie can't come to school because she's immunocompromised. Like I missed 96 days of school in eighth grade and still somehow managed to graduate on time. Bonkers, if you ask me. And if somebody had told me, had told 12 year old Katie, hey girl, listen, if you stop eating those Oreos, that bold party checks mix, and you switched it out for like broccoli and kale, and I don't know, maybe some bomb chicken, you'll be fine. And you'll be able to live like a normal kid. I would have done it. Instead, I missed school because I was sick all the time. I stayed in bed because my parents were working. I would go downstairs and grab a whole pack of Oreos or a whole pack of chips, climb in bed and watch through housewives. And that's how I spent seven years of my life. Not anymore. I am out of bed at 4.30 in the morning, ready to tackle the day. I hope that this was a really good introduction into why I am so passionate about everything health, wellness, and fitness. I hope this was a little bit eye-opening, a little bit different from the usual YouTube videos that you are watching. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below of other things you want to see. I don't really know where to get started. I don't know what you guys like to watch. Do you guys wanna see what I'm eating? Uh, do you wanna see the makeup that I'm wearing? Do you wanna see what I'm doing on a daily basis? Do you wanna see how I OCD organize my pillows or the OCD organization underneath my bathroom sink. Girl, the world is your oyster. You just need to let me know. All right, guys, I hope you have the very best day.